Cornish coast, a wild and dangerous coast that has wrecked many ships. But it has its guardians, for around the coasts of Great Britain and Ireland, more than 150 lifeboats stand ready to launch. Today in Coverack, there's music and excitement. The whole village is down at the quay for the launching of a new lifeboat, replacement for the one that has done brave duty for 20 years. And this is the boat and its crew of volunteers, men who know every rock and current of their own waters. With the excitement over, the village slips back into its quiet way. The lifeboatmen are back at their ordinary, everyday jobs. Most of them earn their living as fishermen. There's Cedric and Archie Rowe, the coxswain. Not all, though. There's Frank, who bakes Coverack's bread, and Mike, the mechanic, the only full-time member of the crew. Men who join together for the sudden, dangerous act of mercy. But in the evening, after a day's work, there's time to relax. Another job for the lifeboatman. The village turns out at a time like this, for the crew are more than volunteers, they're friends and husbands and sons. An aerial go up and a message flashes through. A training plane is down and now they say it's three miles out. The search is on. The coxswain at the helm guiding the boat forward into the falling darkness. Already an hour has gone by. Many miles of sea searched, but still not a sign. And night is here. The searchlight rakes an emptiness of water. There she is.
long search is over. Two more men will never forget what they owe to the lifeboats. The diesels open up and Archie Rowe and his crew head for land, having upheld once more the traditions of our voluntary lifeboat service.